All right, planes, just hold off for like five minutes. Hey, it's Chinbeard here, and I am not quite so fresh off the plane from Dragon Con. It's Wednesday, got home on Monday, um, but it's taken a couple of days for it all to sink in. This is my Dragon Con 2013 debrief. The general consensus going around right now, and of course everyone's on Facebook spamming with pictures from the convention, um, but basically everyone I'm talking to is, uh, is saying best Dragon Con ever and usually you say that every year but this one really is there were a lot of elements this year at Dragon Con that really uh, really brought it home for me probably the biggest one was um, the surprise twin project that, uh, that happened my brother my twin I have a, an identical twin brother named Rob he drove me to the airport <laughs> Dropped me off, I flew to Dragon Con. The next day, I was in my costume and I have a mask on, I can barely see. And a dude walks up in his fully face covered black suit pushing a little claptrap puppet. And I went crazy because I had been talking about doing something like that for a long time. So I was like, dude, that is so cool, that's such a great idea. And he unzips his mask, poof, and it's my brother. And I had no idea he was gonna be there. I had just left him at the airport and my mind pff, exploded out of my brain. Anyway, my friends uh, Wraith and Alyssa and who knows who else were in on the uh, on the secret there, helped put that together. And you guys are incredible for doing that. And that, that set, off, set the tone for the entire convention for the whole weekend. That was awesome. Besides that, there were just an amazing amount of extraordinary costumes. If I can toot my own horn, uh, my wife and I did Death Lords from uh, Skyrim and I was really, really stoked to see how those came together. Uh, surprised a lot of people with those, which was awesome. Of course, my brother Rob was claptrap pushing that thing around all weekend, uh, playing music. He had a soundboard installed so he could like dance and stuff. We would get into an elevator and uh, as soon as the door shut, he'd hit the little thing and Claptrap would go, who wants to hear my new dubstep song? And then start dancing for the entire time we were in the elevator, which was amazing. Probably the most creative costume there, and many people will agree with me, was uh, Harrison Cricks and Bill Winans did, uh, they were the Marriott carpet. <laughs> They had fatigues made that were the same pattern as the carpet in the Marriott, which is very distinct. And they were like hiding on the carpet and crawling around and they were surprisingly well camouflaged into the carpet. That was amazing. My uh, new best friends at the con ever, the, uh, the people from Cosplay for Us All, Wendy and Jay and Courtney, they had an incredible zero and they just finished that mask like a week ago. First time doing a mask mold, first time doing a vacuform uh, visor and it came out really really well and I got to hang out with them a whole bunch which was a lot of fun. David Carpenter busted out his finally finished Halo 4 Didact costume. Uh, he's been working fever feverishly over the last uh, few months to finish that thing and it was worth all the work. It was mind-blowing. Um, and Harrison Cricks from Vulpin Props also had a needler done from Halo and um, the, the combination of the two with the needler, the giant Didac suit was like really something to behold, which was awesome. My pal Wraith, again, uh, she had an amazing Angel of Death costume. Uh, Alyssa, the other from uh, Propped Up Creations, had uh, Fawn from Pan's Labyrinth, which was also incredible, more creature sculpts. My friend Lindsay had an Angelus costume with giant wings that was just incredible. Total commitment there. <laughs> My friend Aaron Stavridis did a super creative tree spirit from Princess Mononoke, sort of a combination of stuff that was really cool. Uh, she had a giant hat that lit up that people really had a, had a really good reaction to. And my pal Eric Jarman did a really, really impressive Krieg from Borderlands 2. That was pretty cool too. What really gets me though is not only are these people busting out just amazing creative works, uh, they are examples of extraordinary human beings that I am super proud to call my friends. The people you want to stay up all night uh, eating cold pizza with and, uh, and uh, drinking warm rum <laughs> all night long at Dragon Con. Uh, these are the kind of people that I want to be my friends and that was absolutely incredible to get the chance to see them again. Um, I finally won my first costume contest too at the uh, NSFW 
costume contest. Been trying. This is my third year trying. I finally won that. Uh, I had to dance and do push-ups. So if you want to see that, I'll put a link below. And then it, and then it all ended just like that. I stayed up all night on Sunday. I didn't go to sleep. I just. <laughs> Went to my plane and uh, flew in, flew home, and my wife and I uh, decided that PAX was still going on on Monday, so we put our costumes back on and went back out and went to PAX, which was insane, but we stopped by the Elder Scrolls online booth with our uh, with our Druger costumes, and they were pretty stoked to see us. That was really awesome, too. And then I went home and passed out. <laughs> Um, yeah, so since then I've been busy writing build write-ups. The Plasma Caster build write-up is done. The uh, Death Lord write-up is done. There will be links down below for both of those. You can go check them out. Um, coming up, I've got to finish my Dread Helmet. I, um, I have to finish painting and weathering it and putting in a new visor. I put a temporary visor in there, but i gotta, I got to redo that. So I'll, I'll shoot all that and put up that video here coming up soon. I have a couple of axe kits that I want to finish. I've got an axe kit from uh, Fev from Assassin's Creed, and I've got an axe kit from Harrison at Vulpen Props that I'm going to finish up soon. And then it's full-on production mode for the Space Pistol Project, which will be super awesome. And all that stuff I'll be filming and uploading straight to your guys' eyeballs. So that's all I've got. I know I'm going a little rambly, but I have all the feelings for Dragon Con, and I just want to share them with you guys. Uh, if, what, were you there? Were you guys at Dragon Con? Let me know all about it. Tell me, tweet me at Chinbeard. Tell me on Facebook, Punish Props on Facebook, or just leave a comment down below. Tell me, tell me how was your Dragon Con? Were you there? Did we meet up? I don't know. I met so many people and I had a mask on so I couldn't see you. Uh, so tell me what was going on. Uh, and uh, let's look forward to next year's Dragon Con. Oh yeah.